Hey, welcome to another tutorial from PhotoshopIsFun.com. Now today what I want to do is cover this incredibly powerful technology within Photoshop called Content Aware Scaling. Now Content Aware Scaling is some of my favorite technology in Photoshop. What it allows you to do is scale things up or down. So for example, maybe you have that killer picture of a giraffe and you want to extend its neck out an extra four or five feet so that it has you know more of a dramatic look and feel. Or maybe you have a model who's not quite as tall as you'd like her to be for your photograph and you want to extend her legs out or something like that. It'll allows you to do that and it's pretty effortless for the digital artist. Now, some people know about this or they've seen other tutorials on content aware scaling, but where they get tripped up is after they do their scale, some of the proportions and the um, you know the the scaling ratios of their main subject get all out of whack in their final result, and that gets kind of frustrating. So I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for how to deal with that really easily um, within the content aware scaling context. So with that said, let's jump straight into it. Okay, so let's just cover the basics here. So what I want to do is I want to take this flower and I want to extend it up in the composition here and give it a longer stem. And I want to show you the um, normal way of scaling something, how that would look versus content aware scaling, just to show you the difference in how powerful this technology is. So the first thing we want to do is duplicate the background layer because it's locked and there's multiple ways to unlock it, but let's just keep this simple. So if you're on a Mac, it's Command J, or if you're on a PC, it's Control J, or alternatively, you can just drag this layer down to the new layer icon and that'll duplicate it for you. So what I want to do next is I'm going to back out a little bit so you either command or control um, minus sign to back out and that kind of uh, zooms out and then I want to go ahead and do a control T or I can go up to edit and do um, free transform and that's basically the um, normal way of scaling something and right away you can see that it puts the frame the scaling frame around the entire layer and gives me the um, handles on the corners and then here on the sides top and bottom so if I were to just stretch this upward to give me the effect I'm looking for I would do something like that and then either enter or um, double click to complete the action and now I'm gonna hit command or control zero to um, fit the scene to um, my screen and just to show you the difference between the original and the um, scaled version, the normal scaling version, you can see that it's pretty ridiculous. It lost all of its um, uh, rate, you know, its size ratio here is all out of whack, etc. So that doesn't look very good. So I'm going to um, actually rename this just so we remember that this is normal scaling. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this layer off. I'm going to reduplicate the background layer so that I can show you the difference um, between normal scaling and content aware scaling. And to um, rename the layers, you just double click um, into them and into the text area and then you can uh, rename them. Okay, so now I'm on the content aware layer. Again, I'm going to control or command minus sign so that I can zoom out and then I'm going to go up to edit and say content aware scale and this time I'm going to grab the top and go up about the same distance and then double click to complete the action again control or command zero to um, bring uh, the scene back to uh, fit my screen and now I am going to show you the difference between the content aware and normal scaling. So if I turn on the normal scaling, it's on the top layer here, so it'll um, show up over content aware. And you can see there it is there. Now when I turn it off to show you the content aware version, you can see the difference. So, um, you know, the proportions are much better on content aware scaling. And what happened with content aware scaling is Photoshop actually looked at all the image data um, uh, within your photograph and then it starts to recreate um, at the pixel level um, the scene as you scale things out. So it tries to um, keep proportions accurate, etc. Um, as you go as you scale. Now, of course, if you go too far or, you know, too crazy um, or you have a really low resolution image, it's not going to do a very good job or things are going to start to break up at a certain point. So there definitely is a tipping point with all of this. But you can see for a lot of things, this works very well. Now, let me show you the content aware version versus the original just to give you an idea. You can see that it really did keep the proportion of the um, top part of the flower. Uh, really nicely. Uh, the background gets a little stretched, but because it has the bulk already, you don't really notice it. Um, and you know, uh, the normal viewer wouldn't notice it. Um, and but everything else looks good. The stem looks fantastic, etc. Okay, so that's the basics of content aware scaling. Now let's go on to something a little bit more complex. 
All right, so let's go ahead and switch pictures. And now I get a lot of clients who really dig their animals and like them photographed. And quite frankly, I love photographing animals because I find them to be great subjects. Um, but for this example, what I want to do is I want to take this canine portrait and I want to move him over to the left so that his face falls more into the thirds rule of composition. And in order to do that, I want to duplicate the layer like we did before. And I'm going to turn off the background layer and then I'm going to move him over to about where I want him. And now what I want to do is I need to fill in all this empty um, space here with uh, image data. And I'm going to use content aware scaling to do it. And let me show you what happens if I were to just, um, you know, continue this technique uh, the way I showed you before. If I keep going out, you'll see at some point the dog um, starts to uh, lose his aspect ratio. So you, we hit that tipping point I was talking about earlier where Photoshop just says, hey, listen, you're, you're, you're pushing the gas a little too hard. Um, I, I, I can't do this perfectly. And you'll see where this is. If you watch his left side of his back, it should start to um, uh, shift at some point. There it was right there. And he starts to widen as I scale out further. And, you know, Photoshop still does a pretty fantastic job, but he is definitely losing his aspect ratio. And he's starting to get wide and, and, and flat. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that and show you how to deal with this type of situation because this is really what separates people who are just aware of this technology versus people who know how to use this technology. Um, so what we're going to do is, is um, go ahead and grab our quick selection tool and we're going to draw a selection around um, the canine here or whatever your subject is in your photograph. And the um, wh why we're doing this is we're going to use this um, image data to tell Photoshop don't mess with the um, pixels within this marquee. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We don't have to. We don't even have to do a refined edge on this. So we're just going to make sure everything is selected. And then once it is, we go up to select and we say modify, um, expand. And we're going to expand by about 10 pixels to just make sure we grab most of the um, the animal or, or whatever the subject is. And then we're going to go back up to select and say save selection. And I'm going to call this one dog. And then click OK. And again, that's just telling Photoshop this is the um, selection we're going to use not to um, uh, mess with those pixels. So I'm going to uh, click on my uh, marquee tool again, click outside of the dog uh, to unselect him. And now when I do content aware scale, you'll still see that he scales until I go up to the properties menu up here for um, uh, uh, content aware and I select protect dog and that's the selection that we made and you can see that he came back and he is um, the proportions are correct for him and that's essentially how you do that it's a, a fantastic way and then double click to close it it's a fantastic way to scale your image through content aware scaling but maintain the aspect ratio of your subject until the next tutorial give this a try um, put your own photographs uh, to the test and see how this works for you and let me know in the comment section thanks